Prior to European settlement, there's a good chance Seattle was covered with Douglas fir trees. These trees, known for their thick bark, can be massive at up to 200 feet tall and 25 feet wide, and can live to be up to 1,000 years old. It's easy to see why designers of the Bullet Center chose this kind of forest as an inspiration. The forest that was on this site was making use of what was on site. It wasn't producing anything that was toxic. It wasn't producing any waste that had to be shipped off somewhere. And we aspired to do that same thing with this building. Wow, I've been in the Bullet Center for five minutes and I already love it. Well, thanks. No, we're, we're very happy with the way it all turned out. What's the goal of living buildings like this? The Bullet Center was really designed to show people what's possible. It uses the power of the sun for all the energy in the building. It captures rainwater for all the water, composting all of our waste, producing no toxic chemicals. So in a lot of different ways, it's like a Douglas fir forest. Or any forest, really. Plants have an amazing ability to absorb sunlight through their leaves or needles and turn it into energy stored in sugars. Draw nutrient-filled water up through their roots and into natural tubes within the tree. And their waste is composted when it sheds from the trees in the form of dead leaves or branches. But these three things aren't often something you find in an office building. I'd love to take a look around. Can we do that? Yeah, I'd love to show you some of the details. Did you know that trees release gases that help to cool the atmosphere around them? In fact, the cooling effect of one healthy tree is equivalent to 10 room-sized air conditioners running for 20 hours. And it quickly becomes apparent that the Bullet Center can also moderate its own climate without the need for energy-sucking AC. It uses the readings of a weather vane mounted opposite the building to determine if it's too hot or too cold causing the building to automatically open the windows or draw the blinds as needed. This system can be overridden, but only for a half hour at a time because the building is always trying to achieve optimum efficiency. And the building has other means of regulating its temperature too. This is the mechanical room. This is really where we heat and cool the bullet center. We have 26 geothermal wells. They go down 400 feet. That's like a 40-story building straight down. The water that we pump down goes down 400 feet. It starts at 43 degrees. It comes up at 55 degrees. And 400 feet down, it's always 55 degrees. And just by raising the temperature of that water a little bit, we make our system about 15% more efficient. Essentially, we're standing in the roots of the building. That's right. So, you know, this is what really connects the building to the ground, these geothermal wells. 